Hi, Angela here, and I am back. And let's see, yes, the volume's working, and it says it's recording. And I'm here to tell you I made a little, little tiny mistake yesterday. Um, when I put this on the inside, I was not thinking. I was just saw the color and thought, well, muslin will do. But actually, the muslin is too thin, so it's very floppy. So, in order to fix that, I am going to put the craft ticks on the inside of this journal. Because it is so tall, we don't want it to be a super floppy. So, um, definitely going to rectify my situation with the craft text. So we are going to apply this today to our journal and stiffen it up just a bit if I can find the tools. I've got a big mess because I've been making ephemera for the journal. And uh, so anyway, I, I, my whole desk is a mess. Things are in the wrong place. You know, it's at that point where you're like, I can't think. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll muddle through it. And it'll work. Um, well, it, well, it will work. Yes. Yes. It will. Okay. So let's get this part done. And then I guess... You know, we'll just have to step back into um, ephemera making today. Or, I have an idea for some of the journal pages, so we might do that instead. Work on some of the journal pages. Just gotta... Okay, so this is craft text. And it is... Um, I'm not going to tell us right there what color it is. Oh, let's see. I think I threw that in my bag over here, and I meant to throw it in this bag. It is chocolate. It's very pretty. It, of course, you know me. I love chocolate. It doesn't matter if it's candy or if it's um, paper. <laughs> I love it. I do, I do. I, I seem to have a staple somewhere on my floor. I hope my dog doesn't get it. That would be the one thing she would find. Out of everything, she would find a staple to chew on. Oh, that dog. That beautiful dog. Okay, so once again we're going to apply this. Mod Podge that is um, fabric to fabric. And since Craftex is actually a paper, I'm hoping it'll go ahead and work because it's kind of like a paper fabric almost, you know. And I've been trying to decide whether to apply it to the Craftex. Probably because the Craftex is kind of, um, it's quite textured. And I think. If we apply to it, we'll get in all the little nooks and crannies in the surface. Hope there's not a back and a front. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I better think about these things. So this should be fairly quick work since I'm not you know, guessing about what I'm doing. And I shouldn't have guessed yesterday. I should have went back and reviewed her video and I would have remembered then, saw and remembered, oh yeah, she used a canvas on the inside. So... There's a bird on my roof. He's pecking around up there. I don't 
don't know if you guys have scrub jays. They're the blue, kind of a blue jay, but they don't have the top notch on the top of their head. They're called a scrub jay. And um, I finally got a peek at their nest. It's in a rhododendron bush right outside my window here. And uh, wow, it's huge. I had no idea that they built such marvelous nests. It's really, it's really, really awesome. And I forgot to find my tool. Oh, it's over here. And I hope you can see what I'm up to. So once again, we're going to pull this down over the pages. You know, one thing about this um, beautiful brown chocolate fabric is that it will go with this journal so perfectly and it goes with the front so perfectly. I need my... It took me forever to get this stuff off of my hands yesterday. And here I go again. Let's just rub it all over our hands. It, it kind of makes a glove on your hand. Oh, I hope this is going to stick to this. That peeled off awful easy. Please, please, please stick. Do not go wrong. It's all an experiment. If it doesn't work, I'll sew it on. How's that sound? I should have just done that. Right? Oh. Didn't even think about that till right now. Oh well. I really wanted to do it this way. There's a piece of something that doesn't belong in there. Probably something from the um, tissue that's all over my desk. After doing the napkins it's a little bit like um, when you're messing around with glitter and then you realize that there's glitter all over your house from A to Z and you just can't get rid of it it's everywhere so Sorry, that makes a noise on the fabric. Um, I don't know how to avoid that because it's just going to happen. Peel it back a little bit. And let's see. So my husband is out of the house today and so I have my phone on so if it rings I'm sorry that you'll have to listen to that but just in case he calls I like to make sure I'm available. You might want to bring lunch home or something like that. I don't want to miss that message. <laughs> Actually I've been on a diet. And I've lost 11 pounds. I'm so excited. It's not been easy. It's been extremely difficult. Let me scoot Luigi off of the table over there. It was getting into my bubble envelopes. Can't, he must be able to smell a plastic smell because no matter what it is, that's where he it, he goes. He goes right to wherever the plastic is that he wants to nibble on. I don't know if other cats are like that or if this cat's just got a strange behavior. <laughs> it is a strange behavior. 
his sister kitty did that too. We don't have her anymore. But anyway, she went to live at a new home with a veterinarian, so that didn't have any other pets. She could not tolerate having the grandkids here or having the, even her brother cat. She got to where she couldn't even tolerate him anymore. Poor Luigi. Um, but she, we had four cats at the time and she just could not tolerate any of it. And boy, she let us know by going potty everywhere. So, anyway, we talked to the vet about her, and there was nothing physically wrong with her, or, you know, health-wise. It was all mental. She just had an issue and wanted to be a, an only kitty. So the veterinarian, one of the vets there, took her. And uh, she's perfectly happy now. She loves being an only pet. She, um, you know, she doesn't have to worry about all the grandkids anymore or anything. And she's much happier, so I'm very glad for that. And I'm so glad and grateful to the veterinarian for taking her because we didn't know what to do. She was going potty everywhere. So, not just pee. She was pooing and she just, any anytime anything got out of sync in the house, she would run and poo somewhere. <sighs> so, anyway, I'm very grateful to the veterinarian for taking her because... I was, she was my little love. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Can you? Over here? I'm right down at the bottom. Bottom corner. I'm on the left side. <laughs> Look left. Look left and down. That's where Angela's hand is. Okay. Here we go. Let's pull that on over. Oh, got a wrinkle. I wrinkled it. go. So I wonder, I want to take this little piece of fabric here. Well, let me finish this up first. Put that cap on, throw that in the water for right now. And then let's move this. And there is some glue on the back of that, so I'm hoping that'll be okay. I'm hoping that's part of what will get cut off going to fold this over again like I did yesterday. Let's put it here. Oh yeah, it does have glue on it. Well, if it's on the inside, we'll be able to fix that by, um, I have a little water in here. Let me see. Yeah. Um, we'll be able to fix that by covering it with something. So, you know, that won't be so bad. But first I'm just going to try to remove it with a little bit of water. And it does not remove. Well, it does kind of. It doesn't help if I keep sticking my fingers on it. Okay. 
but I think it'll be okay. Um, obviously, it's something we can try to cover up with um, ink or a piece of paper or a piece of fabric. It's hard to get off my hands, so I can understand why it would be so hard to get off of the fabric. Oh, that might be my hubby. Hang on. Nope. It's these crazy political messages that I'm getting on my phone. And I hate it. I don't like I'm using my phone for political messages. I wish I could charge them $5,000 every time they text me. Okay. There we go. Wonderful, isn't it? That's going to be a lot better. Okay. Let's put this over in the other section to dry on the other table. And I'd put it in the sunny window. But our sunny window is gone today. And it is a rainy window. But that's okay because we just planted a tree that needs lots of water. Okay. Now I want to take this and I just want to... I want to... I want to... I want to... I wish I'd quit saying that. I want to... I want to paint this with that Mod Podge. I want to see what it does. I want to see if it gets glossy. It's supposed to be matte, I believe. Well, it doesn't really say. Um, water base, sealer, glue, and finish. Brush or sponge. <laughs> it doesn't say if it's a matte or a gloss. Looks to me like it gets a little bit glossy. I'd rather it wasn't a little bit glossy. But let's find out what it does on this little piece of fabric. Just curious, curious, curious. Curious and curious are Alice. Huh. Help. String on me. Now I got that song on my in my head. Only I'm singing string on me when you're not strong. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to leave that to dry. Right there. But not on this table. Back in the water. Let's hold this over like that so we can find a place to put it. Where can we put it? Do you see a place? No? You can't see a place either? Whew. I'm exhausted. Okay. So, where was I? Yesterday I was somewhere over here. In this pile. Yes, I was. Um, let me put my glass mat down. My dirty glass mat. I have not cleaned it yet. No time to clean right now. Cinderella's working. Cinderella, Cinderella, where'd you meet the fella? Okay, here we are. So we left off on, oh, I didn't film this yesterday. 
shame on me. I was um, going to prep it and show you how to make these. <laughs> this is a Tim Holtz um, see-through thingy. See? Kind of a vellum picture. And I cut it down to fit in this size. And what I'm going to... Not with that, and No, 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 no. Oh, over here. It is going to go on the inside of the page and it's going to be a tall tuck spot right here so that um, a little card will fit in there. Won't that be beautiful? But before we do that, I want to do something more to this page. Um, not much. Um, I think it's going to be like uh, stenciling is what will happen up here. So, anyway, I made this and I was decorating it. And then I remembered I had this really cool stamp template. And it looks like, well, it looks like the, the stamps look like this when they're, when they're, um, when they look like that. <laughs> Let me show you. Uh, it looks like this. And you run it through your... Um, I run it through my uh, machine. My Big Shot. And it is by... Um, oh, let me see. I, I, I've actually bought two of them because I wanted to be able to run two of them through at a time. It's called the Cut and Tear Die by Wintertime Crafts. And there is an Etsy shop with Wintertime Crafts. You just do wintertime.com and it'll pop up with an Etsy site. And it, it, a lot of it is stuff from China. And so, you know, I did buy some stamps and stuff that they had. Um, but I did buy these. And they do have some digital downloads. They have the roses. They have a really beautiful Christmas one. I, I have to print them out. And they have some other flowers, I think. Not just roses. I think there's four different printouts. But wintertimecrafts.com and they do have an Etsy site so I suppose you could just go to Etsy and put in wintertime. Um, I don't know what this would look like on just a piece of floral paper. So I wonder if I have like a piece of floral paper. You would need something with lots of um, I look like I'm that. No, that won't fit. Uh, that doesn't fit either. Need something that fits it, right? I think might have a hard time cutting through all that um, stuff there. But, you know, why not try it? We can, if I ha can find my Tim Holtz stuff, um, if I can find my Tim Holtz stamps, I've lost some somewhere. This room is not very big. It's like, a, it's a bedroom. And it, it's now my craft room. But what I'm doing is lining this line up 
right on the this line here. And I have what is called, I believe it's called purple tape. And this stuff just puts the t um, template down and holds it in place very nicely. And then when you want to remove it, you just peel it off and it doesn't peel your paper. At least not normally. So I'm not going to bring my machine over here, but I am going to just pop this into it. Let's see. You want that side up, yes. Always put it towards the cutting plate, not towards the non-cutting plate. back in or I'll have a problem with running into it. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? So now we can make our own stamps and that's very cool. That's the wrong paper for this album but um, you know you could grunge them up and this does get a lot of little um, pieces in it because of these little holes. Uh, toothbrush will work, a firm toothbrush to get these things out. Um, I also have a little roller thing that you roll over. It's, it's specific towards these, but anyway, I absolutely love this new die. And I did want to show it to you. So, how does it work, you say? Well, you just Fold it like you would a stamp, and then you can peel those off. And then it looks like you have a little sheet of stamps. And what I like about it is, no matter what you have that you want to make look like a stamp, because I could not get the scissors without buying a whole bunch of other scissors. And I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of other scissors. You can see there's holes in it. So let me grab my Tim Holtz stamp if I can find it. Let's put this back where it belongs. Timmy stamp. Oh, Timmy stamp. Ooh, Timmy's stamp. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. Oh! Don't leave a stamp on the floor. The dog will eat it. Oh, I learned yesterday not to put your silicone stamps next to each other because they'll eat it themselves. They'll eat at each other. There's that. Um, I'm sorry about this, but I really would like to find that stamp. It's just really hard to say. Oh, there's that one. And there's that one. Okay, I've got this. I'm missing the one stamp that I want. But this will work. Okay. Uh, see? Oh, it's a bow bunny. Maybe this is it up there. No, I'm missing this one. Oh, gosh. And I tried to open the sides. And then it's easy to slip in and out. Um, on the back. I need my little block. I need a block. Well, where is my block? Not my block. Okay. 
I need to get some more stays on inks. I seem to be missing that too. <laughs> oh dear, where did I put it? I put it on that block. Let's put it on this little block. And um, can we do it this way? With um, I don't think it matters which way that. Oh, it matters if it goes that way. Um, October nineteen should kind of go down that way a little bit. So, um, let's see, I need a piece of paper. So if you had your stamp on here, and it's going the wrong way, put something on the stamp or better yet find one of these that has some flowers on it and whoops sorry about that what you could do sorry about that now this one is still open at the bottom with a partial opening on the side um, what you could do is take, this is a Tim Holtz stamp here. You could take a Tim Holtz little stamp, and it's this one. don't know if you could read that. It, Domingue's Penny Post, Frankfurt. And oh, they took my arm off and threw it over there. It's from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> okay. Let's stamp that. And then let's stamp this in the center of our stamp. Our paper stamp and we kind of have a little stamp there. I need a little number. I guess I don't. cents paid. Anyway, that's kind of a funky stamp, but I need to find my other doodads to put on it. But we could just put it up there on the top. Ten cents. And then ink it up. Oh, that's too much ink, and OK. 
guess we have to grunge it up even more. I should just be using one of these. This is my purple. It's dry as a bone. Oh, here it is. Well, that's not even very pretty, is it? <laughs> but we can make them out of other things. You know, and um, I could uh, scan the outline and then um, make some for online. For on the computer, I mean. I could make them on my computer. Okay. I'm just going to stamp this off on this paper. It's okay to do that. And I'm going to stamp this one off on this paper. And we'll put that back in there. Oh. I was going to say, it won't fit does not go back in there, but it was because I was trying to put it through the plastic. <laughs> Won't go through the plastic. I am not magic. No, no, no. Oh darn, I lost my magic. Okay, so there's that back in there. And let's put it up here on that machine because I'll be able to find it. And so I know I need to find this really cool stamp that I had here. I have this one. It can be right there. Alright. There. A mess! in a mess. Mess, 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 mess. Okay. So. Toss some of the things you don't need. Or throw them in the junk drawer. And let's go back to making this. I had a, actually got to a place on it yesterday where I was kind of stuck. Oh, I hope I didn't put all those stamps away because I actually needed them. But maybe, 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 maybe I only need this part. I actually need that back on there too. But, um, to tear it down this side a bit. No, I really like it best over there. So we'll probably have to just stamp it. But I need something under it. What do we need? A little bit of that. I kind of feel like it it's lacking something. No, not that page. Oh, here's some of this beautiful page. Oh, my hubby's home. And here's the vehicle. The dog will be all excited. She worries when he's gone. She worries and worries and worries. Well, this is just not a good craft day because I can't 
find the thing. <laughs> I know I put it up here. I know I did, see? <laughs> I knew I did. Save that. And I think go here. I think we'll go here. We'll do this. I'll put a little bit of words under there. And we'll be a good girl and ink this up a little bit. Not too much this time. Oh, she's getting mail. I wonder if I got a package. I always hope for a package. <laughs> Even if I haven't ordered one. I hope for a package. Okay. If your glue seems a little um, liquidy, it needs to be shook up. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it just needs to be shook up and that's what I probably should do to mine because it will actually get to where it's not gluing like a glue. So you, you do have to take time to shake them once in a while. And then they'll start working like glue again. Okay. So, we are going to stamp this the opposite way than normal, and we'll use this one, and we'll use, what's this one? It says registered. Registered is good. Hi! Oh my, what a treat. I think we'll put this one on first. Oops, did not want to get it on that part because I'll put it everywhere it doesn't belong. Okay, registered. We're going to put that right there. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. Oops, there. Going, doing it again. There we go. Oh, how pretty. I like it. Okay, let's just put you guys right over there for now. And so anyway, I will have to get back to you and show you how I made this little window. Um, and then we'll check out our uh, cover that we just glued glued again today and see if it is much better and I, I'm sure it will be so anyway there's how it turned out and you can see the words behind the picture I like that and this is just a piece of napkin here I just glued it on and I see it's coming up a little bit, so it'll have to be glued down a little bit better. But anyway, that's just going to be a nice little side tuck, a tuck pocket, because it's big like a pocket. And it's just going to go, like I said, in the front of the journal, like this. 
just like that. Won't that be nice? That'll be really lovely. Nice big tag could go in there. It'd be perfect. Okay, well, I'm going to go visit with my hubby and see how his appointment went today. And I will get back to you in a little bit. Bye-bye for now.